I'm going to be straight up honest. My favorite thing about CC 2015.1 is the ability to drag and drop different elements between documents and between the library. I just absolutely love this and I'm going to be using it a ton. Let me demonstrate to you exactly how that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two images here. So these are a couple of models that I shot composite against different backgrounds. So there's, there's the first one. And the reason I'm using these is because we just got tons of layers here that we can um, work with so I can demonstrate some of these features. All right. So in the past, we were always able to select an object. You know, we could just grab pretty much anything and then we could just, you know, drag and drop it and we could go into the next layer and release it and, you know, we'll get it right there. So let me hit delete. So we've been able to do that for a while. But what we can do now is we can actually drag these directly from the layers panel. So we can go in here. So, you know, sometimes you have trouble selecting an element. Say, for example, we've got this kind of a lens flare effect here. I'm just going to drag that from the layers panel up into the document tab and release it. And now we can apply the same effect right here. And notice it maintains the blending mode and the opacity. OK, maybe that's not something you want to do too much for that particular one. It's kind of cool. But what about here? We've got these three different layers that are creating this color effect. So I'm going to select all three layers. And notice we've got just a regular painted on layer. And then we've got two adjustment layers with masks. So we're going to just click and drag now. Notice all three of those are selected. And then we can go into the next document and release it into the document window. And we've got that those options right there now. So we've got all three of those. So let's just drag them to the top of the stack so we can affect the coloring and also hide that effect there. I'll just make these a little bigger because it's obviously a uh, different resolution on those different images. So we can just go like that and boom. I've been able to copy that color effect right over here. And we can see, you know, before and after you can just grab those things and reuse them. Now that's super cool. Uh, we can do other things. Say, for example, I want to create an adjustment layer. Let's do a curves adjustment and add some contrast. So we're going to drag the shadows down open up the highlights a little bit. So we're getting very, very high contrast here on those curves. So don't grab the mask. Make sure you grab the adjustment here and drag up and release. And notice we've got it there. We can go to the very top there and apply that. So now we've got that same high contrast effect. We've been able to go backwards and forwards between the two. All right. So as you can see, we can now drag and drop multiple layers. We can drag and drop adjustments. We can drag and drop masks between the different documents. That's huge, massive time saver. The other thing that I like is being able to do the same thing with the libraries. So say, for example, I want to save some of these looks and use them again. Let's go to the library here and let's create a new library. And I'm going to call this one compose. composite for my composites. And I'm just going to click create. All right. So in the past, we had to select things. And then we'd click this little button here to add the graphics into the library. So what we can do now is we can grab these individual elements. So, you know, we've got this kind of uh, lens flare light leak thing. We can drag and drop it and boom, it's right in there. We could change it, change the name of it if we wanted. I'll just call it light leak, you know, so there we go. And we can gr grab and dra drag and drop all these different ones. These adjustments Let's drag and drop them in there. Wonderful. You know, oh, there's a vignette. Let's drag and drop that in there. And notice now we can actually build up a library out of these. And these this library will be synced with your entire Creative Cloud account. So wherever you log in, let me turn those off because I'm not really digging those. But, you know, even that adjustment, we can drag and drop that curves adjustment in there. See that? And so we can build up this library so you don't have to recreate these elements over and over again. So let's go back in here. Let's turn off all this weirdness that's going on. Get back to closer to our original image. And look at this. This is all here. So I want this vignette. It's probably going to be too small for this, but we can drag and drop it in here. And it doesn't really matter because a vignette is not really going to be too resolution independent. So it'll, it'll look fine when we scale it. So we can drag and drop. We can move it, move it around and reuse it just like that. Boom. And there we go. So we don't have to recreate all of these every single time. You know, the other thing is some of the smoke that I've made. You can see I've got the smoke and stuff down there. I can grab that and I can drag and drop that into the library. 
And remember, every computer you sync to, this is going to be available. So if we want that smoke, even though we've got smoke here already, don't really need it, but we can drag and drop it and reuse it. So, you know, I just totally love this uh, feature. To me, it's huge, massive time saver. Um, so what, what else can we do here? Well, let's go back to our other one here. Oh, and I just want to mention too, all of these that I've just created here, these are going to be really useful when I'm working on videos. I can grab these and I can now just quickly apply these different vignettes and stuff to video to make it look amazing. Um, so let's have a look. We've got other things here. We can save all your different stuff here. Let's go back to my regular one. I'm going to show you another thing about the library. So generally speaking, when you've got a layer selected, and this is how it's always worked in the past, you go to grab something like maybe let's grab our logo. Um, we can click on here. It'll show remaining so we can go down there. There's my logo. In the past, you had to drag and drop onto the document. And what it would do is it would appear underneath all the other layers. So, you know, you're not really showing the proper color of that logo because all these other things are affecting it. So you'd have to go up here and you'd have to drag it to the top of the document. There we go to get the proper coloring. So let me just hit that delete. We're going to select down here just where we were. But now what we can do is we can drag and drop directly into the layers panel. So we can put that on the top and uh, just put that in there, position it, boom, like that. Same thing here, let's grab and drag and drop it to the very top. And you're able to just position these right in there and do that. So anyway, I love these new features, uh, the dragging and dropping between the different, uh, the different elements. Now you were able to do this before, so if you're on an earlier version of Photoshop, you can still do this. Just go, what you're gonna have to do is go under window and then go under arrange and then just change it to something like tile and now when you go in here, you can drag and drop between the two documents doing it this way. So with the update in 2015.1, now I can do this without having to tile the windows. I can actually just very quickly and easily, you know, go in and do my, my whole thing. So anyway, enjoy these features and have fun. Add a comment. Tell me what you think.